Welcome to the city of Carnarvon and the Carnarvon Castle. This destination should definitely be on your to-do list. This castle is a real beauty. There we are. People are crab fishing along the water. Apparently it's pretty easy to catch some crabs. Really easy. Yeah. You can hold it, but as long as you hold it from the back, you see, when you really, really can't pinch, they can't pinch you. That's pretty self-explanatory. This bridge here will open up when a boat needs to get through. It's a swing bridge. The bridge is opened up and it's letting a boat pass. Nowadays you can drive right through the city wall. A lot of time was spent building this castle. It's about time to enter through the walls. And by the way, the spoken language of choice in Carnarvon is Welsh. English is only second. I think this is a tourist street. Here's a nice square right by the castle. It even has a merry-go-round. That used to be part of the moat. This is a magnificent castle. This is pretty extraordinary stuff. It is inside this castle that the Prince of Wales is always crowned. The last one being Prince Charles. They build castles this tall for two reasons. To see out and to be seen. Here you can see the town that was built behind the city wall. This is the Queen's Gate. There's a close-up of the Queen's Gate. Here's a bit of medieval deception. From the outside, it looks like only a single arrow slit. But in reality, out of this one arrow slit, you have people firing from one, two, three directions. There are so many passageways. This dank and dark area is actually the dungeon level. People didn't actually live on this level. It was just mostly for storage. Upstairs is one of the private suites for the knights and the wealthy. The castle did have windows back in the 1200s. They all faced the courtyard. This area is the Eagle Tower. This is one of the chambers in the Eagle Tower. I think this is the biggest internal chamber of them all. As you can see, there are numerous floors to this castle. Here's a view from the bottom of the well tower looking up. There's a museum to the Welsh Fusiliers in the castle. And now the sun is finally shining. I'm experiencing a bit of living history. Check this out. It's low tide. Earlier today, the river was up here. Now, it's all the way down there. All these boats have now run aground. That is the biggest difference between high tide and low tide that I have ever seen. The dragon is coming. <laughs> 